All right, guys, this is 1983 Tops Football Wax Pack number 99. Yep, I know the Todd Father. I will, uh, yeah, I'll actually, I'll share, you know, when I have the chance, I will post some pictures. I have one from 2002, and I also have one from, uh, I think it was 2017. We actually ran into each other at uh, the Prudential Center in Newark. We were both attending, it was the uh, the Monster Trucks. Monster Jam. And somebody tapped me on the shoulder and said, Hey, Doug, Todd Frazier's here. I'm like, where is he? So went over, said hello to him, took a picture with him, caught up. It's a good time. One of the nicest people you'll ever meet. All right. All right, so seven on the random. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. But yep, I have known Todd Frazier since he was 14 years old. And I root for him everywhere he goes, from Cincinnati to Chicago to the Yankees when I was like a giddy little kid on Christmas morning when I was finding out that he was going to be traded from Chicago to the Yankees in uh, 2017. Rooted for him for the Mets, now I'm rooting for the Rangers. Hope he blasts 50 out of Arlington. Doug, you're one of the nicest people I've yet to meet. <laughs> I appreciate it, Mike. Thank you so much. I, I mean, look, when you get to do this, it, this, it's people like you that make this enjoyable. I've said that every single day. Um, but yeah. And I don't want my knee caps to be taken out, so let's send the list so you guys can get your cards. I don't know, maybe it's us Jersey folk here. We might be vicious drivers, but we try to be good people. You know, Chris Gilmore got to hear me the one day listening to me in the car. He's like, whoa, Dougie. You, you. I'm like, yeah, you're going to hear the Jersey in me with the way people drive in Jersey. He's laughing the entire time. Foosball. Ooh. One little piece of gum is stuck to that card. Let's see. Oh, wait, buddy. Bon appetit. It's actually not rock hard. You're just mad about the taxes you pay. Yeah, you know. We haven't exactly had very popular governors here in uh, Jersey. Spot one, Charlie Joyner. But then again, whoever, like, does anyone ever happy about taxes? No, probably not. I think that's why some free agents um, decline to play in New York, because, like, I think, what, Texas, um, Florida, California, I think they're, they don't have to pay, like, sales, like, the state tax or whatever. I, I've heard it's a reason why some stay away, but I, I, I don't know. I've been a Jersey guy my entire life. I just, this is all I've known. Went to college in New Jersey. Um, Otis Anderson eventually won a Super Bowl MVP with the Giants. Spot number three. Matt Booza, the Colts. I'm trying to think about taxes, you know? Sherman Smith, Seattle Seahawks team leader card. Okay, and this time I did put the names up. Philly charges the players a day tax when they play a game in the city. Sounds like something happened in Philadelphia. Although Philadelphia, I don't know if you've ever been to that stadium, uh, Citizens Bank Ballpark, gorgeous. Went there in 2006, that's, that stadium is gorgeous. Mike Douglas, with two S's at his last name, for the Packers. And then we got receiving leaders, 
Dwight Clark, Kellen Winslow Sr. Hope there's a Peyton or Montana. I hope so too. I hope so too. But we got the guy who received the pass from Joe Montana in the 81 NFC Championship game. Rest in peace, Dwight Clark. One of the most infamous catches in all of NFL history. So let's see. Okay, so 13 and one sticker. All right, so the sticker is extra. Okay. You can never know with these things. Got to look at the packs. One of these days, I will learn. It's Freeman McNeil of Layton's New York Jets and Sam's too. Sammy White in Texas. We don't have income taxes. We have sales tax. Eight. Yeah, we have sales tax too. I think ours is like 8%. Who knows? That's why I'm sorry, I'm doing steel. Yeah, like we don't pay taxes on clothing. And I remember, because my college was on the border of New York and New Jersey. So I remember going to the mall in New York, one of the second largest mall in the, in the country, Palisades, the Palisades Mall. And I remember going to buy like a pair of socks. And then all of a sudden, I remember them, like, I thought it was going to be like, I think it was like a two for 10 deal. So I figure, oh, it's going to be 10 bucks on the dot because it's socks, it's essential, it's clothing. Nope, 10, 25. I'm like, wait, what? You charge tax for clothes and socks? They're like, yep. I was like, oh, okay. Bobby Watkins. Dan Ross for the Bengals. Raphael Septian of J5 and Robert's favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys. One of J5's all time favorite positions. Sales tax is still seven and a half. I believe it hasn't changed. Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to look at a receipt. I don't know. I can't remember the last time I bought. went to Walmart. It's the only two stores I go to these days. So Hall of Fame running back John Riggins for the Redskins. A little, uh, you can tell, it was, you can just tell it at the border. Left, left, left to right. What do I say? James Lofton. Um, I'm trying to think. He's like here in, like, for me, like over the last three months, aside from coming here every day, um, Walmart, and I live down the street from one, um, or uh, the convenience store that's very popular here, Wawa. It's really the only place that I go. Or um, we have Quick Check too. But like everything that I get is like food, and they don't charge tax for food. Um, gas, which is just a flat fee. Yeah, Riggins was a beast. Rod Perry, spot 13. And then Matthew Townsend, you get Freeman McNeil. So, all right, guys, that was 1983 Tops Football Wax Pack number 99 in the books.